All right, what a ride the past couple weeks have been. Uh, you guys seen it, I blew it up. I fixed it, it's now back together, running. Um, super, super stressful. Um, still not 100% finished. I gotta put seat belts in it, wide band, and get it aligned and get the bumper back on it. Um, and I have a couple days. I'm losing motivation very rapidly, but we're gonna keep it going. I'm gonna force myself through it here. Um, today, I did an oil change for the first time. Oil, good, cut the filter open, good. Uh, and I put the sway bar links on. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, how I rebuilt this motor. Do you want this again? Don't do it again. So we got the heads off, we got the rockers, the lifters, tucked them away nicely because they're still in good shape. Everything is in super good shape. Obviously it was all new and only has a couple hours runtime. But I don't see any damage or anything like that, so that's always a good sign. Um, cam still looks to be in good shape. We gotta get the cam plate out, get the cam out, and then we're gonna start pop popping these out one at a time and matching them up. These are in order. So I'm gonna just take them out in order and get them all matched up. And then next up is cleaning. So got the whole motor stripped down. Crank, pistons, lifters, cam, everything. Even pull the oil sensor out so I can back feed, make sure there's no dirt. Cam looks good. Everything looks good. Everything here other than obviously the bearings all look good. So, we got daddy right here. Oh, okay. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get the rotating assembly done. Um, gonna get the crank in it first, and then gonna see if I have time tonight to get the pistons and rods back in. I think I will, um, but I don't wanna rush it. If it takes me two days, it takes me two days. I'm not rushing it. I'm gonna make sure it's done 100%. I am not doing this again anytime soon. So let's get it.
want to show off how polished this crank is. My God, it's a mirror. Super excited about that. So cranks in. That's a smooth, smooth crank. As you can see, I mark all the bolts. I always do that because uh, do on every motor. Because if I walk away for an hour, come back, I sometimes like to second guess myself. This way, I don't have to at all i don't have to so you can see i do that on everything all right so next step is dropping the slugs in i use this sweet tool from brian Tooley racing it has a little lip i don't know if you can see it in the video there's a little lip and it'll sit in you'll see here in a second and it's slightly beveled and it's just you just tap the pistons right in this is the easiest tool i have i have various other ones hands down easiest tool ever. My wife helped me build this before. She was just dropping them in. It's just, it's so nice.
so we got the whole motor assembled, done. What you just seen is I got the heads on, rockers, push rods, all that tightened down. Got the windage tray, oil pan, pickup tube, all that done. All I gotta do is, once I take it off here, I gotta tighten up the back timing cover. And these bolts are loose for the engine hoist. So we are almost ready to get it put in. Take off the engine hoist. You think it's gonna start? First time? Yeah, oh. first crank, bro. First crank, yes. All right. hooked the battery up. Yes, I hooked the battery up. We did it. It's all back together. I'm going to pretend that we recorded the whole thing. Did we record the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. It just, the video was so fast. It is what it is. You couldn't see it. Superman. Just play the whole video. First crank though. First crank. First crank. All right, first crank. 